So good day everyone. Coop coming at you. I wonder why I farm at Homestead. If you've never been here before, I'd ask you to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and ring the notification bell. Just down here watching the goats. I put Ernie in here a couple days ago. I'm pretty sure that at least he thinks Phoebe here has uh, come into heat because he's been chasing around here pretty nonstop. So. What do you think? What do you think, Ernie? Oh, you're going to take a break to say hello to me? Say hello to everyone. Say hi, I'm Ernie. Yeah, he's definitely, uh, she's got some discharge there, so I'm guessing that she might be coming into heater. She already did and is going back out. I haven't seen her stand for him yet, but uh, he's definitely been a chasing her. So, everyone's getting hungry. Everyone's getting hungry, so we're going to go down. We're supposed to get a cold front come through here tonight. Uh, maybe drop some snow. We're only supposed to get, I don't know, they, they keep changing it, but it sounds like we're only going to get maybe, oh, I don't know, inch or inch and a half, maybe two, but we're supposed to get some ice along with it, so it's pretty nice right now trying to uh, get some things done here today to kind of prepare for tomorrow since the sun's shining right now and the wind isn't blowing like it was the other day. So, I'm going to get busy here. Take you with me while we do a little bit of chores here today. I want to give you an update too on uh, on my uh, attempt at a frost-free water tank for my one horse. Really couldn't do too much of an update because it hasn't really frozen uh, since I built the thing. I think one time my temperature was down a little bit and I actually took, uh, took a little bit of ice off the top of it. But. Yeah, for the most part, it really hasn't been that cold here, so really wasn't uh, really wasn't much to show you. So just set up there a little bit. Go get my hose. got that running. Takes about 10 or 15 minutes to fill up that tank. And uh, then we can get rolling with something else here. So yeah, actually it turned out to be a pretty nice day. It started out really cold but sun came out and Looks like it's going to be a decent day. Tomorrow doesn't look like it's going to be too good. But, uh, so, I'm going to stop here and I'll be back whenever I get up where that tank is and I'll show you uh, what uh, what kind of progress I got with that. Right now, it's just, 
it hasn't really gotten above freezing all day. It's it's hovered right around 30 degrees. So um, last night it got down. Um, when I got up this morning at 6:30, it was uh, 17. So that tank should have sat for a good while um, in that kind of uh, temperature. So I'm curious to see how much ice is on top of it. So I'll take you along for that whenever I'm filling it up. So we're back, everybody. Got all loaded up with hay and feed for the animals. And we're heading up the road here now to Charlie's Pen, his pasture. Check out his water situation, see how much ice is built up on there. Was if we can get up the bank here and take a look. As you can see, it's not too bad. Like I said, it was it was down way down below freezing last night. And we just have a little bit of ice in here. Not too much at all. Get that out of there. So. As you can see, I just take and gravity flow that water up over there. Out. And there's Charlie. You getting enough to drink, buddy? Looks like you did fine. So, so far, so good with that water tank. Uh, <coughs> the one day that it did get a little bit of ice on it, I didn't get to film it, 
he actually had broken it before I got up here, and I think that's kind of what happened today. Uh, it, it definitely was broken, so he definitely had his face down in there and pushed on it, probably already got a drink. Jump out here and take care of the other two. I actually got them a couple buckets so that they could they could actually uh, yeah. I'll turn you around this way. I got these guys a couple buckets so they don't have to stand down there in the mud anymore and, and eat their grain. So for some reason my camera shut off, I'm not sure why, but technology. Anyway, what I was trying to show you was I actually moved these guys up here to, so they could eat where I feed them. It's a lot uh, drier, not no mud right here where I feed them this hay. So just wanted to get those guys out of the mud a little bit, but I got a couple new buckets for them so that they could eat up here and uh, not have to stand down there in all the frozen clods and mud. So. A lot of traffic today for some reason on this road. Uh, it's about time for school to get out though, so that usually brings a bunch more traffic. But I'm gonna stop here and throw out a bale. These guys down here. But I'll walk up and get that. Walk up and get that and take it down there and feed the other guys. We'll stop back here at Charlie and give him his say for the day. See, I live on a uh, <coughs> pretty blind turn here. That's a fairly busy road uh, most of the time. This bend here probably creates an accident about once a month. Somebody's forever sliding off. That's why actually you can see how far I built my fence back. It's actually not far enough in the road. 
but you know, such is life. Take the good with the bad sometimes. Alright, time to jump out. We'll dump our water. Take care of these guys. Plastic valves are so hard to work. At least that one is. Now we're running to walk over here and give Cheddar and Bree the two babies. Give them a little bit of grain. <coughs> what are you guys doing? Huh? What are you doing? There you go. I'll be back for a little bit of hay for you. Be back for a little hay for you. I think I've done just about all the chores I could right now with you. End up with the goats again here. Ernie, you better eat up, buddy. You need some. You need some uh, stamina. Apparently, he scares them two calves. I thought thought they wouldn't be that uh, afraid of him, but. We're going to have to hurry up and eat. <laughs> Rose is guarding her food. You guys better get in there. All right. So I'm going to sign off this video. 
Again, I'd ask you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, like the video, please, if you did, and <clears throat> ring the notification bell. And I'll keep posting. So, until next time, we'll see you.